with personal tragedy where you didn't even know whether or not you could tell anybody about it. You didn't even know if you wanted to talk about it because the more you talked about it, the more you had to cry. You didn't even know if you wanted to get into it, dealing with it by yourself, or if you wanted to bring somebody into it with you because you didn't know how best to handle the situation. You didn't know if your friend or your new partner would be able to deal with it with you. And so sometimes you have to deal with stuff by yourself and wrestle with it on your own. But it's not just personal tragedy, child of God. It is likewise a time of political tragedy. I just told you about two and a half minutes ago that Uzziah is the king. Yeah. And he's been the king for several decades. He's been a good king, not the best king, but not the worst king. And the people have admired him. They have lauded and applauded him as the man who has done great work in the kingdom. And they are grateful for his service. And now he's gone. And the consequence of him being gone, the people have to wonder who's going to lead us. Yeah. How are we going to make it over this hump? What's going to happen in the next several days, weeks, and months? How are we going to progress? How are we going to make it? It's somewhat similar to what some of us are saying in these United States of America. In the next few weeks and months, how in the world are we going to make it? We don't know what's going to happen by November 8th. And some of us are scratching our heads because we're in a season of political tragedy. Don't you fool yourself. Yeah. 